I thought Minnesota had not released their 2023 rates yet when I searched Minnesota. But in the course of searching for North Dakota, Google gave me Minnesota, and this is a final draft of 2023. Final draft means start using this booklet. So this looks pretty good. We will revisit Minnesota again as we near in January to see if anything slightly changes in this word final draft maybe changes or something, uh, or the release date changes. But basically, this is the setup and the rates are in for 2023. So if you go to the very last page, you get all the relevant information and we can show you how we calculate Minnesota tax rates for 2023. Starts out with the Minnesota, the W4MN. So you're gonna have your employee fill this out. They're going to put ones here if they're married, single, they're gonna answer these questions and they're gonna add up their total Minnesota allowances. That's what line one is. That's what goes right here. Form W4 and then Minnesota allowances. You're just going to put the number of allowances there, one, two, or three. You're also going to want to choose the filing status. There's Minnesota single and there's Minnesota married. Those are the two choices. Uh, and if you want to be, if you're married, but you want to withhold at the single rate, you would just keep it at Minnesota single because those are the different options. You can see on the W4, there's a married, but withhold at single rate. You're going to want to choose single if that is the box that, that, they, that your employee chooses. Other than that, it's real easy. There's just a $4,800 uh, uh, per allowance amount. And then there's this formula, if then scenario that goes into our Google Sheet formula to figure out the progressive structure of the tax rates, which vary between 5.35% and 9.85% at different levels of wages. This is how that looks in the uh, breakdown of the tax rates. So you annualize your wages right here. Annualize and deduct out, uh, cell K4 is the number of allowances and matrix AD is $4,800, $4,800 per allowance is what you're gonna, gonna deduct from their annualized wages. And then here's the table if you're single, if you chose single, this is this if, the amount is minus 4,225 and zero if it's less than 3495, all that stuff. That's just this right here translated into an if-then scenario in one cell. That, that's all this is. And this is the one for the single status. And then here's the one for the married status, which is this cell and this formula, if you want to see what that is. And then you just choose whether or not they were single or married from their status that was chosen right here. Um, in the employee info sheet to begin with, right here, whatever the status was. See, if you choose married, that then the uh, the amount will change uh, if you choose MD married here. MN married, I should say. MN married, you'll see that what happens here is the, the amount that is chosen just switched in front of our eyes. It switched to this one of 152.19. And that's basically, it's pretty easy. Um, it's just a filing status, a number of allowances, and you'll get your Minnesota withholding. And this is apparently final draft usually means final, means no more drafts coming out. So this is probably accurate. So we get to knock another state off of our list that I was not expecting to knock off because I thought we were going to be awaiting a new form, but it has been released. We are revised as of January, 2023 on Minnesota. I just did a video on Montana. Uh, North Carolina, we're awaiting a form, so we will go back to North Dakota. I will search North Dakota again and see if there are any changes, but we are really, 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 really making progress. Really making progress. I mean, even though a lot of these were still waiting for stuff, I've reviewed them, I've got a head start. So anything in green is done, but we have to keep keep going and we got to go to North Dakota, Nebraska. I don't think New Hampshire has any state tax. Yep, they don't. Nevada doesn't. A couple of these will go faster than no, no state tax states that don't have any problem. Although Washington's kind of difficult, even though they don't have state tax, they have other things. So we're rolling, we're rolling through middle, the middle of the, the country. Uh, Minnesota is a proper state to hit right about now because we're, we're approaching like the 20 something, how many states have I reviewed, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 2 to 3 to 4, 5 to 6, 7. So 27 I've looked at, and 3, 6, 7, 8, 9 of them still need reviewing or updating of some sort. 
So it's not as good as it looks. We're only really done with about 15 or so. Um, but we're going to keep chugging away and we're only December 9th. So we're definitely on track to, to getting this done and getting this accurate and still awaiting the release of the publication 15, the federal version, so that we can finally uh, cross all the T's and dot all the I's like getting all the tax rates fully compatible with 2023 rates once they are finalized and released. But that is Minnesota. It's not too bad. You fill out your, your W4MN and you run this through the ringer of very reasonable rates and not that complicated. So good luck, everyone. Payroll should be easy. We're making it so you can purchase copies of these, the uh, Google Sheets version for only $100 for the whole year, or you can get an Excel version that I'll, I'll craft for you as well for a little bit more money um, for bigger businesses than, than like 20 employees or so, All right? So, or 10 employees really, I should say. So good luck, everyone. Payroll should be easy. We're making it so.